Yeah, this is Pat Burke uh, with the Red Rooster, Oceanside, California, and this is free lunch. Let's talk some questions. That's a funny story. We were in Houston, Texas. The guy's riding by just one try, and it's it, simultaneous with me doing it, and I just try kick him over. It's not the one that's on film where he slams. I tried over one time, and then, like I barely missed him, and I didn't make him slam or anything. The guy, like, he, he was psyched, so he comes up, talks to us, and uh, my friend Matt Winterberg, the filmer, talks to me, and he's like, hey, he's all, just try that one more time. I'm gonna film it from here, and just, we'll time it out all, all perfect. And he's all, if anything goes wrong, then I will belly flop off this bridge. The bridge was like 30 foot, dude. And so the guy's like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. So that very next go, he goes up simultaneous, and I kick flip, and I push out or something, and I bail. He eats shit, he cracks his helmet. Big ass cut on his arm, and I'm trying not to crack up. Everyone's kind of laughing. The guy instantly, we showed him the footage, and he, he was like, he wasn't that hyped on it. He was like, don't use that anything. He's like, can I get your guys' uh, company website? Uh, and so I can e email you guys some stuff, like not to use that. And so we just bullshitted the guy, and uh, thank God, because that clip was fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I used to hang out with a bunch of Canadians. There's Sheldon Melashinsky, uh, Jamie Tansoni, and all those guys. So for my 21st birthday, I wanted to do some specials, so I went up to Vancouver. Went there for a month and uh, turned into a full-blown Canadian. What a boo today, what a, talking like them, acting like them. The house I stayed at, it had like a beer bong from the second story, and a mini ramp in the back. They know how to fucking party, and they they are awesome. That shit didn't drop for like two years. I like slowly realized I'm, I'm totally American. Not exactly that kind of Canadian, just Vancouver is awesome. Nothing to do with Red Dragons. Oh shit, yeah, we're getting real right now. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, keeping it real. Uh, yeah, I cannot go to Canada. I uh, tried to, and I got kicked out of the border for having a, uh, a criminal record. Yeah, it sucks. So I gotta wait a few years before I go to Canada. Shitty reality flash. I wanna go to Canada, man. Uh, no, went to Canada, came back, and then uh, we actually got kicked out of Black Box. We lived at Black Box for a while. They, those guys were awesome. They let us stay at the skate park uh, for free, you know, and we're living at a skate park and everything with those Canadians I was talking about. Then one night, we, uh, some shenanigans, we're trying to get like, I don't know whether it's like a lighter or, or like some smoking device or something out of the other room. So we start going diehard style through the roof. Somehow during the shenanigans, a door breaks off and shatters a $2,000 window. And this was like the last strike. Like these dudes have been nothing but cool to us. Let us have a place to stay. After this big window broke, uh, you know, it's like shut down the shut down the operation. I don't blame them. But then after that, yeah, we uh, was kind of just living in my rodeo and shit, and then uh, kind of just peaced out for a bit there. <laughs> I didn't get any of those paychecks, but uh, I just kind of just stopped giving a fuck. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, just kind of gave up on that whole DC thing. For better or worse, I just kind of just, I don't know. Yeah, Canada does crazy things to you, man. Just come back and you're just you're just all lost. It's like a year year of like recovery after Canada, man. If it's good I can't go there, shit, my, my head's a little back on. <laughs> Everyone's like wondering why the fuck I don't wear shoes for this guy, a, hom a homeless dude or something. No, I just was crazy and I went to Canada and fuck. Favorite place on the East Coast, that's a good one. Well, I got my hometown VB, uh, so that's always hometown, but for skating, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Cookout, spots, Dan Murphy. I mean, I know like Philly and all that North stuff's good, but uh, Raleigh wins. John Alley's like my favorite skater. Dustin Dolan rips. Wes Kramer, dude, that kid is awesome. Wes Kramer is uh, like the most, one of the most talented kids I've seen, and I, I always like watching his shit. Jay Thorpe, Sean Sheffy, dude, that guy's awesome. I'd have to go like a top 10 to really get that one right. I found Jesus, nah, 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 right? and I, I, quit, I quit quitting, so that, that's like a, a thing. Like, I don't quit, like, you like quit things, you just go too crazy. Uh, but no, like, fuck, like the way I was when I was like 21 or 19, like doing shit, like compared to me now, like, it's like night and day, you know? You learn a little bit, like over the years? Dude, that's fucking rough. Yeah, I don't know if I can answer that. I, I'm gonna plead the fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. Dude, I've basically been in jail three times for skateboarding. Either. 1500 bucks or my laptop, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs>